Hi, I'm Greg from RV Haulers. Welcome to a nice spring day here in Alberta, Canada. People ask me about our conversions and they say, Greg, you have trucks in stock? Do you have them ready to go? Really, how does this work? I'd like to introduce you to a few trucks, show you some models, and explain the process that we go through. We're not a really big company. We don't have, you know, dozens and dozens of trucks ready to go at any one point in time. We've got a limited budget. I have this thing called the Bank of Wife and she makes sure that I stay under control. Don't go too crazy with the inventory. But as you can see behind me, I have some trucks that usually I think are what most people are looking for. Some of the older ones through to some of the newer ones. There's a variety of, you know, prices, mileages, sometimes colors, and certainly transmissions and engines are things that people tend to look at. For example, we've got an older truck here. This is a 2004. It's a model 670. You can see it hasn't been singled yet. Uh, a 670 is known or, or recognized by the one window up top and no windows down below. So this is a full height truck, full height sleeper. And this one is a little bit of a uh, unique situation. It has only uh, less than 400,000 miles on it. If we look now just to the left, there is a model 780. This is a year 2008. And the 780s are recognized by the uh, two windows back here. This one has, what's different between the one on the right, an older truck, and one that is 2008 or later, the auto shift transmissions changed. In these newer trucks, they introduced the I shift transmission, which gets much better fuel economy, and it shifts just so much nicer. Here we're looking at Baxter. So here's a truck that's midway through its process. You'll see that it has been singled. And this 780, again recognized by the two windows, is a 2011. Now this truck is just inside of warranty. It's a little bit less than 500,000 miles. And then here we have Miller, which is a 2009, so it's got the newer transmission. You'll see it's been singled as well. This one is going to be getting a smart car bed in a moment. In a, a few days. I'll explain that in a moment. Again, take a look at the windows. That's a 670. And this one, very, very unique. It's a Model 880. A lot of people have recognized this truck. It also has a different smart car bed on the back. Overall, on the topic of mileage, you know, we've got one that's very, very rare here with less than 400,000 miles, but of course it's not under warranty because it's older. Here's a 2008 with 700,000. Less than 500,000 there on Baxter. 500,000 on Miller. And about 300,000 on Prince. Mileage is the most important variable on a truck that affects price. So swinging around here to a 700,000 mile truck reasonably you can expect this truck to last up to a million miles without having to have major repairs. So this truck has on it about 300,000 miles of life left on it. There's one with just under 500,000 miles. That truck is going to go another 500,000 miles of commercial use, of heavy duty use, before we have to do something to the engine or expect any kind of major repairs. There are three costs that we factor into each truck. First of all, there's the purchase price of the truck. So a truck like uh, Danny, the red one over my shoulder, a little bit older, lower mileage, but that truck is all fixed up, about a $30,000 truck. Now let's look at this one. A little bit higher mileage, newer technology though. It's got the iShift transmission. It's also a little bit larger sleeper, the 780, a little more space inside of it. That truck is about a $59,000 truck. Now here's a bit of a jump. 
When we go to a truck that's just inside of warranty, such as Baxter over my shoulder, there's a real increase in price. That is about an $80,000 truck. And remember, I'm talking about just the price of the truck all fixed up, all the oil changes done, the detailing, you know, dealing with tires, brakes, etc. All the small maintenance things have been taken care of. But because that truck is under warranty, it's quite a bit more money. Let's compare it now to Miller over my shoulder. That truck is a 2009. It's just over 500,000 miles, so it's out of warranty. That truck is about a $69,000, $65,000 truck. But then when we deal with one that's very rare, like this one, this 880, only a few hundreds of those were made every year. That is about an eighty-five dollars to a $90,000 truck, even though it's out of warranty, very low mileage. So there's a few things that affect the price of the truck. Being in warranty is one of them, and mileage is the next important thing. The second part of the price involves what you see back here. So here's Miller. This truck has been singled mid, which means we put the axle in between where they used to be. Frame has been lengthened. Our favorite hitch, the ET Senior hitch, has been installed. So with a little bit of dressing, this truck is ready to pull a fifth wheel trailer, just like this. You don't have to do anything out back. You could put some toolboxes in there, but the singling process has a cost associated with it. Then what we need to do, most people are interested in doing what we've done to Prince. We want to get some kind of a bed back there to carry toys. And whether it's a smart car, maybe a an ATV or motorcycles. We want to do some kind of treatment back there. So zooming in a little closer here to Prince. Most of our beds that would go on a truck, such as Miller right there, are going to be skirted. So this skirting that you see on the side of the truck, it would continue back and the whole back of this truck gets enclosed and there's a flat deck up there. Inside that deck, inside that bed, we usually put a toolbox there and there. One of the other options, as we can see on prints, is to put a drum box or a storage box behind the sleeper. Now this is a very fancy one with stainless steel doors. But you can see that that's six and a half feet wide, seven feet tall, and about 16 inches deep. There's a lot of storage there. As well on this bed, uh, this one is a hydraulic bed, so it's the one that comes down on the ground beside the truck. There's a more basic model that utilizes a winch and ramp system to get a smart car down. So there's you know, just a general discussion about the third price of a truck. So in summary, sometimes we're lucky and I have a truck that matches your budget, whether it's color, model, you know, overall the price, we start with a truck that's either in stock or I will find one for you in a period of time. Then we make a decision about how we want to just single and repair this truck. Uh, some of my customers are able to do the cleaning and detailing themselves. Sometimes they want me to handle the entire process. But that's the second price we have to establish. And lastly, we have to decide how are we going to outfit the truck for storage, do you want a bed on the back? Uh, that adds the third price to the truck. And lastly, I like to remind everybody that we handle all of the importation process to the United States. If you're one of our US customers, we love to deliver our trucks and bring it right to your door and make sure you're comfortable driving it. Thanks.